Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm ranking Friday the 13th from worst to first. I will be excluding Freddy vs. Jason. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, let the show begin. Number 11, Jason X. Coming in at the worst spot is Jason X. This movie is so far removed from the original intentions of the first installments. We got Jason floating around in space for Christ's sake. It's unwatchable for hardcore 80s Jason fans like myself. Number 10, Jason Goes to Hell. The first installment produced by New Line, Jason Goes to Hell is certainly a horror movie, but not quite a Jason movie. I love the opening to this film, and Jason looks phenomenal for the handful of scenes he's in. The rest of the movie is average, but it does have a fun gimmicky final scene for Freddy and Jason fans alike. Number 9 is Part 7, The New Blood. This was a fun one for me to watch when I was a kid, but it's one of the hardest for me to watch nowadays. It has elements of part four with the two houses being situated so close together and having, of course, teenagers partying next door. But the actors aren't nearly as fun to watch like in part four. The telekinetic stuff is laughable. You can tell they were running out of ideas at this point in time. Also, the movie got butchered by the ratings board and got edited down quite a bit. With the extra footage, who knows? It could have maybe been a lot better. Number 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. The last one produced by Paramount is another one that's hard for me to rewatch, but at least there's not people moving things with their mind. In this one, although Jason seems to teleport in some of the death scenes, most of the film is based on a boat with the last 20 minutes or so around New York. It should have been called Jason Takes a Boat. I like the scenes in New York, but I hate the final scene in the sewer, and Jason's facial makeup is a disgrace. Number 7 is Part 5, A New Beginning. This one is like the Halloween 3 of the franchise, but that's okay because I love Seasons of the Witch. A New Beginning isn't great, but I do enjoy the locations of the institution, and I do enjoy the actors in their roles. It also has one of my favorite lines in movie history. Those damn enchiladas. I know people don't like the imposter Jason, and for me this is the weakest Tommy Jarvis out of the three actors to have played him, but I do enjoy the 80s vibes. Number 6 is Friday the 13th The Remake. This one is one of the better looking films in the franchise, and Jason looks phenomenal. That being said, I'm not a huge fan of the actors and some of the kills could have been more inventive. But I love the opening and the filming locations. I thought the series was going in the right direction, and would have been curious to see a follow up film. Number 5 is part 2. Ah, the burlap sack. That's right, before the iconic mask came into play, we had burlap sack Jason. I still love part 2 today. It's fun, it's got a good campy vibe, and I like all the actors in their roles. At this time, they couldn't bank on Jason yet because he wasn't who we know him to be now. So director Steve Miner just set out to make a simple, fun little 80s horror movie, and that's exactly what we got. Number 4 is Part 6, Jason Lives. After the lukewarm reception Part 5 received, Paramount set out to breathe new life into the franchise, and what we got was one of the most rewatchable in the series. I love the opening scene. Tom Matthews as Tommy Jarvis is awesome. The cast is fun and we got a kick-ass Alice Cooper music video out of it. It definitely feels different than the first five installments, but it's not too far removed either. Fun times. Number three is Friday the 13th, part three, 3D. In the height of the 80s 3D craze, Friday the 13th part three is the best one. I recently bought a Blu-ray copy with the old school 3D glasses and it was a new experience. I love it. The first time we see the legend in his iconic mask. The barn setting is legendary. This is truly the beginning of Jason Voorhees and one of the best the series has to offer. Number two is Friday the 13th, the original. This is probably the only horror franchise where the original is not my favorite, but it's damn close. I don't know what it is about the original, but I can still watch it today and really get into it. I love the simplicity and the innocence of the camp counselors awaiting their impending doom. It's funny to see Kevin Bacon so young. It's even funnier to see him dive. Number one is part four, the final chapter. The best the franchise has to offer is the final chapter. What a perfect title. This is the definition of a slasher movie. It's brutal, it's dark, Jason is unforgettable. The cast featuring a young Corey Feldman is the most enjoyable ensemble to date. And the legendary makeup effects artist Tom Savini is back to bring a jaw-dropping ending. This is the absolute pinnacle of the franchise. It never gets old. Anyway, so that's the list, guys. Thanks for watching, and let me know what you think. Bye. Ah! That's...
son of a bitch was tough. Let's go get some pancakes. A pig is a filthy animal. Oh god, oh, hey boys.